What is going on everybody? Stabs here, welcome back. Um, been a while since I made a video, sorry about that, but you guys are going to be excited, um, expecting a lot of videos very, very soon once I actually have the time to make them. Uh, my summer break actually just started. I finished school, I think, yesterday. Wait, what day is it today? It's Wednesday? If, yeah, it's Wednesday. So I finished school yesterday. Um, so today is officially my first day off from school. So I thought it'd be a really good idea to make a questions and answers video. Hashtag ask stabs. I uh, haven't really made one of these, I think, in three months. And uh, I thought it was a really good idea to make one since you guys are always asking me questions on Instagram and Twitter. So I can answer them on here. Now, uh, these are going to be from Instagram and Twitter, like I just said. Um, if you guys want to answer or ask any questions that I can answer during videos like this, uh, all you guys got to do is just follow me on my Instagram and Twitter. Those are going to be linked down below. And um, let's just get right into the questions. So, question number one comes from Driton, uh, Driton, Gu Driton G1. And he asks, what would you do if you just won $10 million from the lottery? Bro, $10 million? I'd be out. You guys would probably, I mean, $10 million is not really a lot, but the, I always say this, I always talk with my cousin, especially in Driton, he's my cousin if you guys didn't know, but um, if I won the lottery and that much money, I'd basically just try and invest it, um, I'm actually getting my license I think next week, like a week, week and a half, so uh, the first thing I do is just get me a decent car, nothing too expensive, and uh, you know, just to get me around, but uh, with the other money, I just try and invest as much as I can with it. Possibly, you know, I was trying to start stores, businesses, and stuff like that, and um, try and get more money from that profit and stuff like that, and try and become even richer than I am right now. Sam Fisher 268 asks, What got you into Call of Duty? Now, if you, I actually answered this a bunch of times. But uh, for those of you new subscribers out there, um, if you guys don't know, I actually got uh, into Call of Duty uh, back in MW2 when um, that was the first Call of Duty I actually bought. So what actually got me into um, Call of Duty perfectly, uh, you know, that I kind of got addicted to it, uh, was in Ghost um, Nate Shot. I actually remember uh, watching him play... Uh, the early release or whatever it was, I don't know, it was at an event, and uh, I was watching Nate Shot play, and I remember watching him and his movement and stuff like that, I wanted to be just like that, I wanted to be able to go to events like that, so I started playing, started my own YouTube channel, that's kind of what made me do this too, and uh, here we are, so that's basically what made me want to start um, doing what I kind of do today. Connor Foxy asks, what is your aim on YouTube? Now, I only have one goal on YouTube, that is to try and make it my full-time job. Why? Because obviously I get to play video games. That's literally the best job in the world that you could possibly ask for. That and you guys actually enjoy watching my videos. Though For those of you that do, I really do appreciate it. And uh, like you guys have no idea, it could basically change my life. So my number one goal is to make YouTube a full-time job. That way I don't have to be miserable for the rest of my life and uh, actually enjoy working. Ben Williams 14 actually asked two questions and he, he says what's your favorite Call of Duty in history? Like I said before it was actually Modern Warfare 2 um, There's just something about the way that game was actually played that no other game will ever make it again So I uh, hopefully they do remaster it like they are with COD 4 on Xbox one because 100% hands down I will buy that I will make videos and play that game for the rest of my life and he also asked what um, also, what football position do you play? Currently, I'm playing middle linebacker. That could change, um, but that is what I'm doing. Kdub1 asks, what advice can you give to a beginner in YouTube? Now, I always give this advice to everybody. I always get people on my Instagram DMs, uh, Twitter DMs, and they always ask me, like, what do you do to get more subscribers, to get famous on YouTube and stuff like that? And um, obviously, I'm not famous like that. I do get a couple views every video. I'm starting to get past 100, like 125 mark for every video. So it is doing pretty good for me. But um, the number one thing I can give you guys is just be consistent. Now, this is the most important thing, but it is also the thing that I have the most trouble with uh, because of my schedule. I had school and I had football, but now I actually have a two week break. So that's why I say you guys can be expecting a lot of videos. And um, like I said, advice for a beginner is just be consistent because your subscribers want to know how they could depend on you and if you're reliable for them to actually watch your videos daily or every other day. Just make a schedule and let your people know. 
Zion Cryptic, sorry if I said that wrong, uh, he asked, if you could make it to a professional sports team, what team and why? Now, I actually thought about this for a little bit, but um, I'm just going to go with the sport being football. Now, I thought about that. I could either go on the best team right now, which um, I'd say the Patriots are probably one of the top powerhouses right now. Um, they've always been for the past couple of years. Ever since, you know, Tom Brady's their whole damn team, so you can't really stop that guy. Um, but I could either go with the Patriots just because they're really, really good, and um, depending on whoever gets me paid more money, or I could go to the New York Jets. Why? Because I am a New York Jets fan. Please do not roast me in the comments. Um, we've been getting better every single year, so please do not roast me in the comments. But, you know, for some reason, I guess it's just because I'm from New York, um, New York Jets, you know, something like that. It kind of relates. So, uh, they've always been my team since I was little, and they still are today. So, if I could pick one, it would either be the Patriots or the Jets, even though they're complete rivals, which actually doesn't make very good sense, does it? G. Brian asks, favorite class setup? Now, right when he said this, the perfect class setup actually showed up in my mind. Now, I'm actually going to show you guys on the screen, uh, but you guys are going to be watching something with the VMP. I'm not sure exactly what perks and classes and um, attaches I'll have on the gun, but you guys are going to see right here, this is literally the God class. It's been the God class ever since, um, like, the third week of Call of Duty. This gun just became the most OP thing ever. It's really, really accurate, does a lot of damage, melts up close. Um, I really do recommend you guys to pick this. You guys know that in most of my videos for gameplays, um, I actually do play with this class. So please try it out and let me know what you guys actually think about it and what you guys use in the comment section below. Dark Rise 122 asks, can you dab please? No. Loki on the score, Shay, I think I said that right, asks, what are your favorite games and keep up the good videos, man? Now, you guys 100% know, Call of Duty is my go-to game. It's always been for a couple of years. Um, but I've actually been playing a lot of different games lately. Um, you guys know, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but Rocket League was actually on the Xbox Marketplace. Um, a couple days ago, they actually took it off. But um, it was basically like a free trial. That was really fun. Um, but usually for sports games, it is always Madden just because I do play football. And uh, I don't really find anything like NBA or especially FIFA. Uh, to be really that interesting to actually play on Xbox. So uh, my go-to is either Call of Duty or Madden. Jordan Maloney asks, where do you see yourself in 10 years? So in 10 years, I'll be 27. I actually just turned 17. You guys saw my last video. But uh, in 27 years, when I'm 27 in 10 years, where will I be? I'm thinking I'm going to have a house by then. Hopefully some type of family, maybe I'll be married. I don't know when I'm, I want to even be married, uh, when that's going to happen. But I'm thinking I want kids around like 30. So it depends kind of when I meet my wife. Um, hopefully I do. And um, hopefully I'm just, I think myself, you know, uh, with a family, my own house, a nice car. And uh, something like that. You know, I don't want to be too um, not realistic saying like a Lamborghini, a mansion, and like 10 billion dollars in my bank account, you know, something like that, you know, just to have money and uh, a healthy family. Colby McIntyre, probably said that wrong too, I'm sorry. He asked, would you rather kick a wall with a toothpick underneath your toenail or go in a pool on lemon juice with cuts all over your body? Why? Why do you ask something like that? What, what is the point of asking? How do you even think of something like that? But actually, I've actually seen this question a lot. I actually get it every single Q&A. I just don't decide to do it because every time I think about putting a toothpick under my toenail and kicking a wall, it just makes me cringe. Like, how do you, oh, I wonder if anybody, if somebody has tried this and you find the video on YouTube, link it in the comment section below so I can actually watch this. No way in hell I'm going to search for this myself because I do not know what I'm finding. But I'd say I'd rather jump in a pool of lemon juice with cuts because if I kick a wall with a toenail, oh God. That's going straight into my toe. I'm probably going to have to go to the ER. If I jump in a pool with cuts, depending on how deep the cuts are, I could probably just wash it off with water and it'd be all right. So, I'm going with the lemon juice. VS Marty asks, what was your first gaming console? My first gaming console was actually the Xbox One, or not the Xbox One, the Xbox Original. If you guys don't know, I actually still have it upstairs with like five or six controllers and like 25 games for it. Literally just sitting in my closet. 
But um, that was the first console I had. I remember um, picking it up from GameStop. I think on my birthday or before that. Um, still remember like it was yesterday. So that was a pretty good moment. But uh, first console, Xbox. I've always been with Xbox. Last and final question comes from uh, 12 Richie. And he asks, favorite esports team and player. Now, 100% favorite esports team has to be Optic. Why? Just because like they literally represent their organi organization so well that it's become something so big today. And um, just to be a part of something like that is just absolutely amazing. Um, if you guys want to go into those details, like they're making a lot of money from stuff like that. And uh, I just like the way that the um, Optic organization has its fans you know they have they probably have the strongest fan base ever in uh call of duty history the green wall and um you know i'm part of that and uh it's pretty pretty cool they're definitely they're a powerhouse right now in call of duty if you guys don't know and uh, my favorite player on that team has to be scumpy because um I, he's just hilarious he's a god and um I've always watched his videos on YouTube, and that's kind of some of the inspiration for some of my videos. You guys may have noticed, uh, like the 60 series I actually got from him. I mentioned that in the first video I made, so don't think I actually stole it from him. But um, he's just a really cool guy. If I could meet him one day, that'd be literally awesome. But um, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, put me right to comment, subscribe, follow my social media links down in the description below. And I will see you guys next time. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter for my newest videos up to date and stuff like that and uh, even when I ask my new Q&A uh, that will also be in there as well so hope you guys enjoyed if you did remember to comment, subscribe follow my social media links down in the description below and I will see you guys next time let's try and get 25 likes on this video and peace out guys damn on